York Jets uh, truly do have a chance at a solid rebuild. I mean, they're a team that has struggled mightily, might I add, to get talent and, and keep it. I think the the only player I can name that has, uh, you know, there's a couple of players actually that have a lot of promise. You talk about Quinn Williams, Denzel Mims has got some talent. I believe Jamison Crowder, even though was their leading receiver last year, they have some talent. Don't get that wrong. And with the addition of Sam Darnold, or the subtraction of Sam Darnold, so I'm really just kind of interested to see what exactly they're going to do. Uh, if I'm being honest, I don't expect them to rebuild quickly, but I expect I expect them to uh, have a solid foundation this year to rebuild. Now, um, what that will entail, again, I'm not 100 percent sure, but I do know that this team is is primed. Uh, you talk about two first round picks. You talk about a second round pick. You two thirds, two fifths. Like this team, with the draft ammo that it has, it has a solid chance at a rebuild. And with that fir that second overall pick, I was going to come out and call this video saying that they have to nail the second their first pick with the, with the second overall pick. Well, no duh, Colton. Well, no duh. And they're probably the, the all the mock drafts are saying they're going to take Zach Wilson, and I get it. I mean, he's there's this. I think he's the. Uh, in the conversation for being the best quarterback prospect in the in the draft, even though Trevor Lawrence is clearly number one. I mean, but Zach Wilson's in the conversation. But when it comes down to it, it turns out that Zach Wilson uh, is most likely going to go to the Jets. And if they do, in fact, trade, or excuse me, acquire Mr. Wilson with the second overall pick, I'm excited. I think that this uh, that, that pick will streamline it will it will launch a lot of other things to be excited about if you're a Jets fan now I I, I know what Jets fans are saying oh there's no that that feels so weird saying to be excited about if you're a Jets fan I'm not I'm not uh, trying to throw shade I'm just saying hey this this could be a team that has some talent that could definitely do some things and I'm I'm I for one I'm very excited about what that could mean now you talk again you talk about the second pick I'm um, talking about the 23rd pick now that one I'm not 100% sure on what they're going to do um, but I do expect them to maybe you know I think they could maybe go after a guy like Tevin Jenkins or, or a corner. Uh, Greg Newsom, I think I've seen not mocked there a couple of times. But you also talk about the the fact that they need a guard. Now, I think they could address that with 34 going after a guy like uh, Wyatt Davis, who I think is the best guard in the draft. Um, and I do think would immediately solve a lot of their problems along the offensive line. Now, they do need some other things. You know, we talk about a corner and edge player, um, edge player, excuse me, enunciation, Colton. Um, but there's quite a bit of draft ammo for them to be able to address that. Like I said, two firsts, a second, two thirds, two, uh, one fourth, two fifths, and a sixth. Now, I think from top to bottom, this team, it, it's got the draft capital. It, it truly does have the draft capital to go out there and address some of these needs. Um, and, you know, some of the guys they have signed in free agency, too. We could go into that. But this is really about their draft class. They've got the picks. Now it's about going out there and getting it and getting it done. Now, um, it's going to be really interesting to see. Um, what this new uh, what this new front office does now I I do think uh, it's gonna really come down to how well they can uh, draft Joe Douglas has got his work cut out for him um, even though I think Robert Sale is gonna come in and do his thing he's gonna grab his his defensive guys he's gonna go out there and do his thing um, and uh, I think he's gonna make some plays uh, that, that team is gonna make plays with him at the helm and I think they're gonna uh, go out there and draft some quality players they've definitely got the draft ammo to do it now again what happens, you know, with those opportunities, we'll see. But I, I honestly think, uh, it, but I mean, I think I'll honestly take the Jets. At, they'll need to lead, hit on at least half of their picks to be relevant this year. Even though I don't think, I don't think um, that will happen because it's extremely hard to hit on a lot of picks. It's extremely hard. Um, you really need a lot of early picks to be able to do it. And plus, uh, I mean, I think the Jets have what five picks in the top uh, one hundred. Yeah, something like that. Yeah, so um, it's really tough to uh, – and six picks in the top 110. So it's really tough to hit on all those those draft picks right away. But I think the Jets could do it. Uh, and I think they could be they could be one or two drafts away from being a very, very relevant team. Uh, so uh, I'm excited for the Jets' future. Future. I think Zach Wilson is the real deal. Zach, the real deal of Wilson. Uh, I'm going to be really excited to see what he does with the Jets. Uh, with a revamped offensive line, also maybe getting some wide receiver help in there, uh, some more other than what they added in the offseason. Um, so I think it's going to be really interesting, but let me know what you guys think. Make sure you guys like and subscribe down below. Leave a like and a comment. It helps people find the show. We greatly appreciate all the support. Also, as we always do, we leave a, uh, a handle, if you will, to our social media platforms uh, in the description down below. Also, check out our website at thesportsbpodcast.com and enter any email questions you may have to us or email us at thesportsbp at yahoo.com. With that, go out there and have a great day.